Hello and welcome back to Show It Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Tundra Limited Nightshade Long Box in the color Blueprint. Let's take a look. Starting up front, underneath the hood, you'll find the twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 389 horsepower, 479 pounds foot of torque, towing capacity up to 10,968 pounds, payload up to 1,642. Up front here, you've got LED headlights, customer daytime running lights, and fog lights. Down below, across the front bumper, you'll find these little round nodules. These guys have are your front parking sensors. Up front, you also have that Tundra logo on the grill. On to the sides here, we have the black 20-inch alloy wheels. On both of your front doors, you'll find your Tundra logo. Then your side mirrors have integrated turn signals, blind spot monitoring. And on both of your front handles, you'll find this little dimple on the front corner. We'll talk about that guy more on your driver's side. Moving back, all your rear windows come with factory tinting, and on both of your rear doors, you'll find your limited trim level badge. In the back, currently, we have the bed lamps turned on. These can be turned off or work automatically with opening and closing of doors. Rear windshield is also power adjustable, and we'll look at the controls for both of those when we get up front. On the back, just like the front, you've got a backup parking sensor going the whole way across. On the left hand side, you have that 4x4 badge. Underneath, you have your hitch receiver and spare mounted on the bottom. Tundra logo across the back of the bed. And on your rear handle is the backup camera. To open up your bed space, got a couple options. One is to reach into the handle and press the button in here. Or you can go over to your rear driver's side taillight and press the button on the sides. It will pop open and it can lower itself down safely. Across the back, you've got a Tundra logo. You can take a look at the inside of the bed itself. As we said, we have the interior lighting, you've got tie-down hooks, bed rails, and on the right-hand side, you have a power outlet. To close it up, just reach down and bring the tailgate up, back into starting position. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. So, inside here, your interior upholstery is the black soft text leatherette with black stitching. From the side, it appears solid, but if you look at it head-on, you'll find this geometric print that emerges. This is only available with this trim level. Then on the inside, you have access to a folding down armrest slash cup holder, which of course can easily fold away to increase seating capacity. Next to your middle headrest and your passenger headrest, you'll find one of these little fabric straps. Reach up and release this guy to access all the storage space in behind the seats, including your toolkit back there for the spare. Similarly, down below, you've got another little strap. You can release this guy just to make sure it's unlocked and then reach and lift up the seats to access the storage on the bottom. It runs the whole way across of both sides here. We've got a couple accessories, including the hitch itself and the Tundra carpeted mats. All new units come with both carpeted and rubber sets. If you have the seat in this upright position and want it brought back down, you can do so by releasing this little handle again. You'll feel it pop and it'll come all the way back down. Looking up overhead, there is a panoramic moonroof inside for everybody to enjoy. Then on the back of your front passenger and front driver's seats, you've got pouch storage. Back of the console, you have your cup holders and cubby space, and then your chargers down below. Inside the door, lots of storage space, as well as your power window control. And then back again to these little dimple here. This guy indicates keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on the person, you can tap your hand here or here to lock and unlock your unit. Inside driver's door, we've got power windows for front and back, window lock, power lock system, side mirror controls. On the left here, this allowed, allows your side mirrors to fold in flat with the body of your unit. You can keep it set to A for automatic, so they'll fold and unfold when you lock and unlock with the key fob, or you can manually adjust these controls at any time. Then directly underneath this is your memory seat settings, which of course means you have electronic seat adjustment, back front, up, down, and lumbar support, hood release latch on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. On top of that, controls for the rear bed, bed lighting, automatic headlamps, automatic start stop dash brightness odometer trip rear parking sensors ac 120 volts heated leather steering wheel and headlamp leveling pop up here and we'll take a closer look at the steering wheel itself so left hand side or rather the steering wheel itself first off is black leather with black stitching then left hand side controls for the dash display hands-free communication and your volume control right hand side radio controls in the bottom adaptive cruise control up top which includes both sonar and lane departure. On top of your dash, you have this little built-in storage cubby with a 12 volt adapter on the left-hand side, and underneath is your infotainment display screen. 
This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. Currently, you're looking at the optional navigation. You can choose to connect that through Toyota Connected Services. Then, audio listening, AM, FM, satellite radio. Full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and there's optional USB adapters throughout, such as this one on the bottom right corner. Then, phone connectivity for connecting your device to the vehicle via Bluetooth. You have your trip information, and at the bottom is all your settings. Everything from personal profile, Bluetooth and devices, general notifications, sound media, voice, dealer, info, software, updates, apps, etc. Bottom left, this is your volume control, and then this middle section is climate control. We've got dual climate control up front here. Currently it is synced up, so both sides will work together in unison, but you can turn off that sync to allow each side to function independently. On either side, we have three variant levels for heated and cooled seats, blue for cool and red for heat, defrost for front and for windshield, as well as your side mirrors right in the middle. Left of this is your push start ignition and trailer brake controls. Then you have your traction controls and four ways. Parking brake, gear shift, two wheel, four high and four low controls, driving and towing mode, and storage all throughout this middle space. Starting up front here, you'll find this black pad with a little glowing green dot. This is your wireless charging pad. It is compatible with all wireless charging devices. Nice thing is you've got little bumpers on both the sides and the bottom of it, which means that it's not going to go sliding out of that spot when you're actually out on the road. You never have to worry again about having charging cords on your person while you're in the vehicle, and you still have a clear line of sight to it for notifications coming in and out. Plus, there's plenty of additional space. You'll even notice a bit of that blue hue going on down there. That is the interior ambient lighting which just allows you to see what you've got stored on there even when you're in the dark. Behind that is your cup holders and then the console itself, so two layers of trays. The one in the front is able to be slid open to give easy access inside. Just as easily, you can open it from either side. Again, ambient lighting stemming from the back here. Lots of different options for storage arrangements and some additional chargers on the front end. To the right, down below, lockable glove box, up overhead, on the rear view mirror, one, two, and three dots. Those guys are garage door openers. Then you've got your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, overhead lighting controls. Controls there for, of course, your panoramic moonroof. And lastly, on the left is the adjustments for your power adjustable rear windshield. Take a look at it in action. Press the button in to have it roll down. Pull the button up to have it roll back upwards. You can also stop it at any way, point along the way to suit your personal preference. Great little feature for letting extra airflow inside your front cab space. Thanks again, folks, for joining us. On this full video tour for this Toyota Tundra Limited Long Box Nightshade in the color blueprint. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.